<laughs> it feels oh, like you're way out there again. Oh. Nobody's here. It's fine. Hey, Mom. I'm, I'm here. Well, go ahead. You, you're always first. Welcome. Welcome, you guys. Happy Thursday. I'm Jenny Craig. I'm Jeremy Craig. And we are here at Copper Bottom Craft Distillery in Holly Hill, Florida. We're back home. We are back home. Oh, yeah. We didn't, I, we didn't Which talk about me. that in a couple days. <laughs> Which reminds me. What the heck happened last time? Okay. Last week. Will you please Hi, explain Judy. what the heck happened last week? What happened last week was, first of all, we introduced the world to Scott. If you watched it, you know, you now know Scott, basically. He's great. He's great, and I've gotten a lot of feedback on him that he should be a regular. Or he should Maybe just he take should just over take the show. Yeah. yeah, it sounds like people just want him to take over. And that's Which fine. Which I get it. Yeah, yeah I, I get it. <laughs> Is Jeremy, so today I get I've only here. only got so much to give. <laughs> this thing is, there we go. So today I get here and um, I can always. No, 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 no. Don't change the subject. What happened last week? Okay. What the heck happened? What, ha what had happened was um, we, that was the Facebook Live that we put so much into. We drove all the way to St. Augustine, not to mention like the time that we spent coordinating our schedule so that we could do it together and with Scott at Guy Harvey. For those of you who don't know, last week we did a Facebook Live. And most from, of you probably don't. <laughs> from Guy Harvey Resort. I cannot believe you are calling me out. I'm not calling live. you out. I'm just trying to figure out. I think you should explain to these people what happened. So I was trying to get the right lighting, the appropriate lighting on the Facebook Live before we went live. And I just pulled up my own personal Facebook and was testing the lighting. And then when it was time to go live, I just clicked go live. So it was on my personal page, which is why no one saw it. Um, Not no one. Let's be honest. A lot of no most one saw people it. didn't see it, but no. there's a few people who did. And then what? And happened? no one even called it out. Like Sherry, you could have said, "Hey, this is on <laughs> this is on Jenny's Facebook, not Copper Bottom." Whoops. Whoops. Where were you on that one, Mom? Yeah. <laughs> she always catches. So my then, mistakes. I mean, that's that was the biggest thing. So if you didn't also, see it, no, we, that was not the biggest thing. It was the biggest thing. No, because I ended up sharing it on the Copper Bottom and Copper Bottom Facebook, and it did still get some more views. Yeah, which again, nobody saw because Facebook doesn't like when you. I share feel like we're starting out stuff. today wrong. <clears throat> what else? Was, what else happened last week? I don't know. I'm trying to fix the shirt. Okay, here we go. Let's just talk about today. So I get here, you guys. He has had the longest day. Look at this poor guy's face. It's hot back there. How Actually, before it? before I got on, I had to get my little sweat towel here and like do this whole thing on my head. It's disgusting, it really is. It's hot back I there. I believe I married you. It was last I checked, it was ninety seven degrees back there. Ninety six. Well, actually, like ninety six point eight, but I'll take ninety seven. And also, look what he wears. These are the Dickies, like really nice men's work shirts. He's in jeans. He's in boots with like high, awful socks. No, they're regular socks, and they're good socks. We live in Florida. I don't wear socks, so well, it's a it's a manufacturing facility. I can't just wear. I can sandals. when I walk in though. I can see it all over his face. You've had a day, huh? Yes, I have. Pity this poor guy. Lots of stuff going on. Mm -hmm. It's not as glamorous as it might seem, <laughs> as we make it look. <laughs> My friend Ken today said uh, he was telling me about his brand new closet and showing me like the install pictures. And I said, I, I'm not jealous. I just, I would really like a nice closet too. And he said, well, I would like a distillery. And I was like, would you? <laughs> okay, or even. I get it. I was like, but no, you wouldn't. And then I went into how hard you work back there and like lugging those big hoses and it's 90 something. Today degrees. was barrels. I was moving, I had to pull a bunch of barrels off the rack and fill barrels and empty barrels and barrels are heavy. Barrels are. <laughs> yeah, they're heavy. They're a lot, of, a lot of work. Just kidding, Mom. Um, so speaking of barrels, today we cracked open another one. Cracked, cracked it open, right open. Cracked open a few of them, actually. Oh, you did. Well, so what did you do? to kind of give people a little, a little inside of what we do. So when I pull a barrel, I don't just pull the next one off the rack. I pull the next two, three, four off the rack and give them a taste and see which one is ready. So we, we do. I taste it pure periodically through, you know, every couple of months Did that come out, right? It's fine. Whatever. Every couple of months I'll, I'll take a little sample and try it. But when I'm ready to actually bottle, I'll pull two, three, four, sometimes four barrels off the rack. We'll take a little sample of them and I'll try them and see which ones 
mature, most mature, ready to go. So we'll do that. So that's what I was doing today. I pulled three barrels off the rack today. And um, what did we go with? Come on, no whammies. What do we got? What do we got? We went with a 15 month old, uh, 15 month old barrel. It was a Heaven Hill barrel to start with. So it's a Heaven Hill barrel, 15 months. That will be batch five of our gold rum. You sound like one of those moms right now. 15 months. She's 15 months. See, that's funny because do you I don't, mean like I don't know how many, I don't know how many months my kids are, so maybe <laughs> that's not a I, joke. Know, I know how many months our barrels are though. Um, so yeah, so 15 months, Heaven Hill barrel. And for anybody who doesn't know, we, we do single barrel bottlings on everything as well. So that's going to be the next uh, bottle it'll, or the next batch. It'll be a single barrel and it'll be that 15 month Heaven Hill barrel. That's exciting. So when, when will it be ready? Like bottled out? Uh, well, I was hoping to get some of that done today, but it's getting late and we got tours coming in. So I don't know that I'm going to get much bottling done today, but we're going to get, we'll have it probably tomorrow or my guess is Saturday. It'll probably be done. Okay, cool. And Ish. batch four was also Heaven Hills, but it was 14 months. Yeah, 14 months. Um, I haven't proofed it down yet, so I'm not 100% sure. I mean, I get a lot of the same notes. We'll see what happens. Uh, we only have three cases of batch four left. So if you did really like batch four, um, I would suggest, highly suggest coming and get some because I've only got a couple cases left. Four. I don't know, three. Did I say three or four? I think it's three. So, yeah, three cases left. So come on in. I know my mom, that's her favorite batch, batch four? Gold rum. Yeah. Huh. So you may not have a chance. Maybe she'll take it all. But I doubt it. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> All ahead. right, moving right along. Okay, ready? Sure. Hi, Laura. Hi, Ashley. Okay, <clears throat> why are you all here? I'm sure you want to know. Why are you here? No, why? No, why you are all here? I'm sure you are here because you want to know. While you are here. Got you. I thought you were why asking, you literally here. asking, why people are here. <laughs> why are you here? Why you are here? No, why all you are here? <laughs> what is? <laughs> Get a drink or something. <laughs> okay, the Riverside Beer, Mead, and Spirits Festival. If you haven't heard, if you've been Sorry. under a rock, it is coming. It is two Saturdays away. That is Saturday, September 22nd from 1 to 5, the Riverside Beer, Mead, and Spirits Festival. We have partnered with Auto Elixir Meads out of Zilliand, and Anne Marie is going to be here with her meads, which we've decided is a honey, honey spirit. It's a honey spirit. It's, it's very good. It's not really a it's not really a spirit. It's more of like a wine. It's a fermented honey alcoholic beverage. Okay. <laughs> it's not a spirit. Spirits are different than right. Mm -hmm. And we've all <laughs> shut up, Richard. Yeah. <laughs> we've also partnered with SR Parat, who's our distributor, and they have been super hands on deck with getting all these breweries lined up for. All the different samples. I say samples, but they're like three ounce pours. Sample pours. But you're yeah. just going around, you're trying everything. Yeah. We've got, are you doesn't ready mean, for this? Doesn't one? mean you can't go back for another three ounces. True. Like, you don't say unlimited, do no. you? Well, it's till it runs out. Because, you know, you only have a limited amount here. So, so like, what if I have a favorite out there? Um, you know what I if really like? You have liked? a favorite out there, you maybe should go out and buy some. Tomoka Brewery this past weekend. <laughs> That was good. Um, it took you a while though. I know I did. Well, because I was trying to get to where I was going. Uh, <laughs> Tomoka's, Tomoka Brewery, this past weekend I tried their McMullen Red Ale. Yeah. It was so good. It's very good. It was so good. Yeah. And I when I picture Red Ale, I picture something like super, er, like. Really? Yeah, like, mm. See, and I it picture, wasn't, it was like nice. See, I picture something like, I don't want to name not so good ones, but nah, I get it. Yeah, it was very, very light, good. very refreshing, totally. For someone who's not a super avid beer drinker, it was very drinkable and enjoyable. So anyway, plug for Tomoka Brewing Company. Okay, so are you ready? I'm, I'm ready. All right, I'm, I'm going excited. down the full list. Everybody we've got confirmed. Vinny, thank you for all your help. SR Parat making this happen. Tomoka Brewing Company will be here. Persimmon Hollow, love them. Those guys out of Delane, good guys. We're gonna go see them tomorrow. Sen yeah. Well, I am. You're not. <laughs> you are? Uh -huh. What they're, the heck? They're sponsoring um, the Something else you're doing. beer garden. Yeah. Oh, ah, okay. Well, that's cool. 
Yes. I want to go. Nope, you got to work. Central 28. I like uh, those guys. Those guys are good too. Yeah. Really good beer there. Big Storm. Okay, I have to give a shout out to them because I have not been to a Big Storm, but they have multiple locations. Mm -hmm. Their website is so cool. Really? Yeah. I have not been to their website. It's very cool. Is it? Yeah. I think. I've had some of their beers. That's good. They're yeah, good. They have been. Yeah. They're good. Okay. Orange Blossom is coming. That's like over by the villages, right? That's good beer too. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Good. Um, Tampa Bay, as you said last time from Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. Yeah. <laughs> um, Moonrise. I talked to these guys today. Moonrise Brewery. They're out of Palm, Palm Coast. Palm Coast. So yeah. they're kind of local. Really excited. No, that, that's local. Is Volusia County Palm Coast? It's still Volusia County. It's still Volusia County. It yeah. is? Oh. It's still Volusia County. It's, well, I guess maybe that's Flagler. I think it's Flagler. Well, I don't know. I don't want to correct you, babe. Well, no, I don't know if it is or not. I don't know much about this area, to be honest here. Um, well, anyway, I was talking to them today, and they have one of our barrels Yes. at Moonrise, yeah. and they're about to fill her on up with some brown ale. Brown ale? Okay. I wasn't sure what they were going to do. They're doing a brown ale. How do you know this before I do? Listen, I have friends. There we go. <laughs> I have friends in this town. That's true. Like the guys at Moonrise. Um, Atlantic Beach, have you had them? Yes. Out of Jacksonville? Yeah, he actually just came by here not too long ago. He did? Yeah. Wow. Oh. Really good guy. Yeah. I didn't get to meet him. Nope, you weren't here. I'll meet him in two weeks. Walking Tree, they're out of Vero. I don't know much about Walking Tree. Actually, I, don't I like know the name. About I like the name too. I don't know anything about them. All right, we'll see. And Saltwater Brewery out of Delray. Those guys are cool. Yeah. They do a. They do a biodegradable um, can. Six what? pack thing. It's really pretty cool. Like, it's this can six pack thing that you snap your cans in, and it's like turtle food or something. I don't know, or maybe it's just bio. I don't know what it is, but I thought it was pretty cool. It was, it was an interesting deal. Like, turtle food. Eh, throw it in the water. Maybe don't. You're supposed, no, you're. It's supposed to be like it's biodegradable. Like that's the whole reason they did it was to make it turtle food. So maybe that's like something you you should be encouraged to take out on your boat. Because if they're trash or holders or whatever gets into the water, then that's sure. okay. I don't you know. know what? We shouldn't. Plug yeah, this. I'm not exactly <laughs> sure how this works, so maybe I maybe I shouldn't be yeah. doing that. Um, my phone is dinging. That better not be you, mom. Okay, so that that covers the breweries, and we're expecting to have over like 30 samples that day. I keep saying samples. What should yeah, I say? It's, yeah. They're three ounce Tasting, pours. sampling. Well, no, because every brewery is going to bring in more Multiple, than one beer. Yeah, yeah so right. it's going to be quite a few beers. And then we're going to do our spirits, too. Mm -hmm. So, yes, that's right. So, Anne-Marie will be here with the Meads, Odd Elixir Meads. She'll be out there. And then we are going to be in here. We are going to be sampling our, all of our, everything we have, right? Yeah, we Whatever do. we have at that point. We're going to be sampling. And then, <clears throat> also, we're going to be selling cocktails that day. Mm. Can be bartender. Oh boy. Hmm. We're going to be selling in that day we can because the benefits proceed, uh, or the proceeds, proceeds benefit. benefit. <laughs> um, Sport Volusia. So, Sport Volusia. Uh, I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're the one who put this together. I, I know. know. Okay. Let's talk the real reason why we're all here the food. What are we going to have? You don't even know. This is so fun, you guys, because I'm basically planning this all behind his back. And he, he's learning this right now, as you are. I Generally, every time we turn this on, I'm learning a lot. Okay, we have two food trucks coming out for the Riverside Beer, Meat, and Spirits Festival. Number one, what, could, what on earth could we do without Lee from Southern State of Mind? He's been so good to us. And he will have, for those of you wondering, because this is always the question I get, he will have his award-winning... Low country shrimp and grits that day. Is that what it's called? Yeah, I got there. It's delicious cheese, bacon, um, and then there's this like cherry wine sauce on top. It's so mm. good. Sounds good. Shrimp and grits, yep. And of course, he'll have some other amazing dishes. We really like him, Lee, and he's a Holly Hill guy. And then we also have, drum roll, brand new to us, Yeast Coast Baking Co. Sounds Gourmet pizzas, Ooh. everyone. Gourmet pizzas. I like pizza. Yeah. Pizza and beer. I was messaging with them today, and they said margarita pizza, and they're just like cool. Look at look them up on Facebook. Very very good looking. Pizzas. Are you gonna link these people below in the? Sure. Um, they're already included in the event invitation, uh, Facebook event. Oh. 
thing. Hey, share that by the way. If if you want people to come and check it out, share that with all your friends and family. Whether you want to or not, we want you to. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Um, and then last but not least, the Sorry. entertainment for the day. He's my favorite. Going Tim. outside of Tim. Yes. Tim's good. Going outside of Tim Rivers. Why? He's, oh, we just had a new like. Did you hear that thing going? I um, can't really see it. It's got a little glare there. Tim Rivers is the best, and he just added a new song to his. We hear him often. He plays all around. He plays at Stonewood like every Saturday night. He plays at Bahama Breeze. He plays at Hull Seafood. He plays at. Steve. Uh, he's, so you're saying he's got his own song? Oh, sorry, I didn't get to that point. No, he added a new song to his repertoire, and um, the is Rocket new, Man. Is it new to you? It's new to. Well, no, new I to him. it's new to him. We talked about it. We did? Okay. Yeah, because I heard him do Rocket Man recently. I was like, what? That's new. He did good. Did That's, you say it like that? <laughs> That's new. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Your day is just getting longer and longer. <laughs> so sorry. So, anyway, Tim Rivers will be here. Yeah. Playing. And he's going to be awesome. He's He does some acoustic stuff. He's really good. I'm going to get some video that day because I feel like he doesn't have a lot of video out there. Are you going to do a live video that day? I will definitely be doing a live video out there. For everyone who didn't come, yeah. you'll well, be wishing yeah, why would we? Why would we do a live video if everybody's going to be here anyway? They're not getting to sample all these amazing craft spirits and beers through the live video. Yep. Yeah, but all these people are going to – all these people who were watching this are going to be here, so – Right? Are you, aren't you? I think so. <laughs> My day just got longer too. <laughs> See, there you go. <laughs> okay, what else you got? Oh, tickets. Um, can I do oh, one more? You can do whatever you want. Purchase your tickets. It's so it's twenty-five dollars for the wristband, and that gets you in, and it gets you, like Jeremy said, until it's gone. We're continuing to serve. So it's twenty-five dollars, and if you go to the um, well, not until it's gone. I mean, there is a time limit on this. I mean, right. Whichever comes first. It's like a car, like however many miles versus years. Years, yeah. <laughs> what? What's the time? One to five huh. on Saturday, September twenty second. One to five. So five o'clock, place shuts down. Well, for the most or part. if they run out before then, but that won't happen. So um, anyway, you can get your tickets on the Facebook event invite. It's on our page. I pinned it right to the top, and you just go in there and you say buy tickets, and they're twenty five bucks a piece, and that gets you in, and that gets you everything. Well, and then obviously then you are inside and you can purchase food from the food trucks and you can purchase cocktails if you would like a, um, a spirit here. Yeah. <laughs> it felt like that was a lot. That, it, was, it was a lot. Why don't you tell us something that you're looking forward to? Share with us something cool that's happening. Because I feel like I feel like this week was a lot, even though we got like a free day over the weekend. Um, not really. He did not. No, I was here. We opened up for uh, Florida Brew Tours, which was cool. Yes, I love them so much. Yeah. Talk about them. They came through on Monday. We weren't open on Monday, but they had a bus full of full of Great really people. excited people. Yeah, that came through, and we gave them a tour and a taste of everything, and it was really it was it was good. It was a good day. Florida Brew Tours, so yeah, they just check them do, out. yeah, they do. Well, I think they, I have a little flyer. They're all around, and they, um, you can schedule your tour, and they'll take you where you want to go. That's their logo. Yeah. A little you glare see. there, yeah. Mm -hmm. FloridaBrewTours.com. Check them out. Ben and his family run it, and they're awesome. We love working with them. Yeah. So that was, that was my Monday. Had had uh, they them come through, and that, that was a lot of fun. So. That was good, and then uh, been a busy week after that, but that's good too. Better, better to be busy than not. Yes. So. All right. Anything else for these great people? Um, we would love to see you come through our doors soon, and if you can't come through our doors, we have so many new likes. Have you noticed we this? I, we have. I've noticed. We that. have so many new people. Since on we here. have this little clicker up here. I notice a lot that it just keeps clicking away, which is good. I love it. It's good to see. Yeah, um, I feel the need to reintroduce like our whole family and do a whole new like this is who we are thing because there's so many new people here. Yeah, we should maybe do we'll do that eventually. Mm -hmm. Let's wait till we get to a, another big number or something, five thousand or something. Yeah, five thousand um, will be coming in no time. 
one thing I do want to say, uh, we have a lot of really good recommendations and um, reviews on Facebook, a lot, which is great. People, a lot of people find us on Facebook, which is a really cool thing. Um, one thing we do not have a lot of, though, is TripAdvisor and Yelp reviews. So if anybody out there is, you know, a regular reviewer or anything, and you've been through the been through the distillery, tried our spirits, what have you, and you feel like leaving a review, that would help us out tremendously because it's one of those things that, uh, you know, we are obviously going to do that on our own and we can't. So it, and it really helps for get the word out so more people can come find us, which is a good it's good for us. Bring them on. Bring them and in. then, of course, if you can't get here, we are available at all Florida ABC liquor stores. If we're not on the shelf, you can just ask them for it. And they'll get it to you. And bunches every, of total wines. Bunch of total wines and every Stonewood. Stonewood too, yeah. We're yeah. their mojito. All right. Well. Have you had enough? Have you had enough? Of me? I've had enough. But here's to a great weekend ahead. Yeah. It's gonna be. I'm good. excited. I know. Come see us. What's so, going on? Is there anything happening this weekend? Um, oh, we do have a big private event. We may or may not have a big private event, and it may or may not be a surprise, dear. And then oh, no, next, I'm not saying that. I'm not okay. saying anything else about it. All right. Well, no way I, have I just wanted to stop you in case you were. <laughs> Maybe I just made it worse than it would have been. Yeah, absolutely. Typical, par for the course. And then, what's happening next Saturday, honey? Uh, it's your birthday. It's my birthday, and we're having a party here at the distillery. Are we? Are you telling? Are we? Are you inviting all these people? Well, if you want to come. <laughs> no. Hey, it's up I to you. I didn't plan for all that. My mom and I are doing all the desserts. We have a uh, we have a following of four thousand, almost five hundred people. So if you want all of those people to show up. No, I was just saying, like, that's something we have coming up that I'm looking forward to personally. It's my oh. birthday. So you heard her. Come on out. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, don't. <laughs> or let me know if you want, and then we can plan for you. My mom and I are not going to all the desserts. We're going to do some cocktails, and uh, we're not planning for 4,000 people. So but you know who you are if you're invited. <laughs> all right, we good? On that note, sure. get me the heck out of here before I ruin anything else. <laughs> Okay. All right, well, signing off. Signing off. All right, thanks, you guys. Have a great rest of the week and a good weekend, too. Bye now. Bye.